What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is the start of an adventure, a really fun adventure. We went to Lake Como recently and uh, you guys seem to enjoy that video, so we're taking that one step further today with an adventure across all of France. So the main goal of this is I got contacted by Bridgestone who have released a new tire and they asked me to try out their new tire and uh, I came up with this idea and thank you so much to them for letting us do this because I was like, look, you know, oftentimes uh, when we're told to, to test these sort of things, we get one hour on like a, a road where you can't really try it out and you don't really know at the end what the product is actually like. What would be amazing is if I could actually drive this in all sorts of different conditions and they said, yeah, no problem, go ahead. Here's a car, so they've given us a car, which I'll show you in a bit. Go test it however you please. So that is the goal of this trip. First thing though, is parking all of this into that, the Alpine that we're using on the trip. All right, so naturally, to be able to film this video, I need a co-pilot. Marion is coming along on this trip, which means we've got quite a few bags and not much space in the Alpine. Okay, so this is what we're working with boot-wise. These things we need to keep in the car for safety, it's like flat tire, etc. But that's the boot, quite deep, but that's it. And then we've got front boot here. Um, yeah, and we've got about five bags. How this is gonna work, I have no idea. Kinda cool, cause this is originally a rally car, Alpine, and it's got the Bridgestone stickers like a rally car. So that's kind of, kind of funny, funny, funky, cool, whatever it is. All right, and we've got the Bridgestone Potenza Sport tires on. This can change it, not only can it change the um, behavior of a car, but it can change your whole road trip experience having a new set of good tires on your car. So I'm pumped to have those on. Okay, so we're going in direction of Avignon today. You know what's kind of ironic is I used to own an Alpine A110 in exactly the same spec, and I only did about 600 miles on it, 500 miles. And we're actually gonna do more miles than this one. So I'm gonna have driven this one more than the one that I actually owned. But one thing which is interesting to compare is I drove that one on older tires on English motorways quite a bit, which aren't quite the same quality as French motorways, granted. And there was so much road noise. Now, the mix of these motorways and these new tires, there is such little road noise. It's, uh, it's really relaxing for a drive like this. It makes the whole experience uh, uh, just much nicer. I was able to take a call, no problem, whereas I remember struggling with that on, uh, on my Alpine. Now, the aim of this trip is not to just stay on motorways the whole time, obviously, is to experiment with these tires. So we're gonna go into, off the motorway at some point, into those mountains over there to make the most of this experience. Okay, we've got no one around us. We are off the motorway, and I want to try out the launch control. Pull both paddles. It gets all prep ready, let go of the brake, boom! Oh no, it didn't do it. No, it didn't do it. Okay, let's try again. I think I probably stayed too long. Launch control on. So cool. Now, there was no wheel spin then. This isn't a hugely powerful car, but most cars, often if you're on old tires or bad tires, you will get wheel spin when you try and launch control the car. And it takes all the fun away from the launch control. One of the things they worked on hard with the Potenza Sports is that straight line acceleration. So the car feels super stable. You also don't have the steering wheel kind of floating around as you accelerate which means it just adds confidence in the, the acceleration of the car. So super cool, obviously double clutch gearbox, so you can do that as many times as you want, basically the launch control. But now we're ending up on some little roads around the Gorge de Verdun, this area is called around here. And that's gonna give us an opportunity to try the car out on a dry surface. It's a beautiful day through, the, through, through corners. The Alpine is one of those super light cars so it's under a thousand kilos not overpowered so you can actually use the power quite a bit which makes it really fun and exploring these new roads is always is always pretty awesome <laughs> no 
our double clutch gearbox. I'm obviously in track mode now. So, oh, look at that. Look at the grip around here. I'm already on the throttle, accelerating out of the corner. Now, this is obviously a mid-engine car. And often what you'll get with a mid-engine car is on a corner like this, when you're accelerating coming out of the corner, you'll get understeer. The front just wants to push on. Oh, speed limit's gone back down. But yeah, the front will just want to push on. And it's, it's really just disconcerting because as you're getting on the throttle, uh, you have to wait, wait, wait for the front end to get grip. And that's one of the things which with a uh, tire that you can have on a road car like this is the problem because you'll often have tires which are made to you know, not make any noise on the motorway like we just saw or be in town. Whereas this, I feel like it's got that balance right of you drive it on a road like this, you've got confidence in your front end, but then when you're on the motorway, it's not making too much road noise. We have yet to test it in town. We'll see how it is there, if it's making the suspension really hard, if it's actually usable around town as well. But so far on these dry little roads, through the acceleration and through the, the highway, it's pretty good. And that's why I wanted to come on a trip like this, to be able to experience the tire in all sorts of different conditions. Also great to experience this car, finally, somewhere else than central London where I use mine. Take the opportunities while they present themselves. We've crossed a pizzeria. Do you know where we are? No, no idea. Nope. <laughs> oh, it, oh yes, a place called Soleil, which means sun. So, I mean, it's carrying its name nicely. Anyways, let's see if we can get one of these pizzas. Key, let's go. Press the button. Those should go in. Bosh. Ta-da! Let's go. Mademoiselle, I wish we could transmit smell through YouTube because this is unbelievable. Give us a sneak, sneak peek. <gasps> no, it's insane. Oh, yes. This is what I love about traveling by car is, you know, you go in a plane, you leave from your departure point to your arrival, and you don't see anything much on your way. Whereas this, we're actually exploring the depths Great. of France. All right, let's do this, I'm hungry. Wow. Left. Two and a half hours. Yes. Ah. Okay, so we've got quite a bit left. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing I did want to say quickly, getting back into this, made me realize how comfortable this seat is. I mean, obviously, we're just sat on rocks, so everything's going to be comfortable compared to that. But in general, honestly, I remember this from, from when I had mine as well. The seats are super light. I think they weigh 18 kilos, the pair, something around there. And uh, you can't adjust them, but they're already set up so well that you don't really want to. So. That's gonna serve us well during this road trip. Anyways, beautiful views around us. And now next stop, Avignon. Well, this is gonna help us digest lunch. You know what the last thing we need to do? We've tested the cornering, we've tested the acceleration, all that and the dry for this car. What's left to do? The braking. So I wanna see if the car is stable under braking on these new Potenza Sports. We're not on carbon ceramic brakes, so it shouldn't cause too much of a problem to the tire. But as we have nothing behind us and it all straight, let me accelerate up towards the speed limit. Ready, three, two, one. Oh my God. We're gonna have to do one more just to check that wasn't a bit off. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one. God, it's impressive. The car just completely stopped. It puts its indicators on in the Alpi, but mainly the ABS didn't really even need to, to come in. How's that for the digesters? But um, yeah, I mean, the ABS didn't need to kick in. The car, same with the acceleration. The steering wheel remained dead straight. So, this is what I wanted to do on this trip here. Test the cornering, the acceleration, and the braking. So we know it's all good because it's so hard to get that balance right between like a performance tire and a usable road car tire. So we've done that well in the dry. The question is, doing it in the dry and doing it in the wet is completely different. So is it gonna be able to perform both in dry and both in wet. So we think, this is one of the first times I'm gonna cross my fingers to have rain. I think we're actually gonna have some rain potentially tomorrow. Yes. Anyways, today we're gonna to continue on this beautiful road to Avignon. We'll join up with you guys there. But we're trying to have the most complete test of these tires. So the braking, honestly, after that, very impressive. Whoa, off they go. Yay. Right, we'll join you in Avignon. Welcome to Avignon. 
What a beautiful place this is. Look at this. It's very famous for its uh, bridge. There's a bridge back there, which is you it's know, well known for. Like oh yeah, it might be this one. Anyways, God, it makes me realize that good thing I've stuck to car vlogging and not travel vlogging because clearly, clearly not my forte, is it? Okay, so during the Lake Como video, you guys enjoyed seeing the hotel, so I figured I'd show you the, the hotel this time. Beautiful views out of our room, look at this. So, so nice, and then, also the, the gardens and, and everything in the hotel are really nice. We've got a nice room, massive bathroom. Don't quite get why the bathroom's this big, but not complaining, I mean, lovely. I forgot my camera's in the car actually, so I need to go back down. It's a good opportunity to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Are you making fun of me? Yes, she is. There you go. Right, now let me show you around now that we've got that bag. Just, there we go. So this is a beautiful provincial hotel, typical of this area, which we came across completely randomly online. It looked really nice and it hasn't disappointed at all. They make their own wines here. They've got two hectares of property. Super nice. This is the main entrance. God, I'm a bit out of breath. I just kind of sprinted all the way over here. Beautiful little tables, which is convenient because COVID times, you can just get your takeaway and come eat at these, uh, these tables here. And then in general, they've just done it so nicely. It's so typical of this area. Really old house with all the rooms in them. Our room is up there somewhere. And then look at this. So pretty. Little area to have your uh, evening drink before dinner. Right there. And then what else do we have? Look at this. So pretty. You got the Instagram? Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Okay. And then you come through here, you got a little eating area and then this beautiful pool. Look at that. With a little bar area and a barbecue so you can bring your own food and then cook here for yourself. Beautiful. Anyways, that's the hotel. I'm gonna go pull the footage on the computer now and, uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning probably is when I'll next see you. Don't know if it's all gonna be one video or two videos, we'll see. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Our day is starting with a little bit of stress as we have literally no mileage left in the fuel tank. The car usually tells you and it says we are completely empty. So yeah, a little bit of a stress because we still got a little bit to go to the fuel station. So ideally we won't run out of fuel before we get there. Oh, and I've got to accelerate a bit here. Oh. So I think they always give you a little bit of leeway on the fuel tanks on these things, but yeah, we've, it says zero kilometers left. Anyways, on the bright side, we're going to see exactly how much the fuel tank on an Alpine costs. We've put the aircon off to save fuel. <laughs> we're going all in. What an eventful start to the day. Oh, uh, yes. Fuel. Fuel. We made it. Good start. How much do you think it's gonna be, the full tank? Uh, uh, 72. 72, yes, very good. Okay, I'm gonna say 84. For some reason, we already put 27 euros in and it stopped, and now it's going again. So let's see what the total will be. 38 plus 27, we're on okay. 65 euros. You win, you win. Sorry. Bravo. Build up, next stop is Lake Annecy. Uh, near Switzerland, it's about a three hour drive, so two and a half hour, three hour drive from here. And then I think we should have some nice roads around there and it may even be raining, which is unfortunate for us, but good to test the tires in the conditions necessary. One hour later. Well, our rainy wishes have come to life, haven't they? Look at this, started raining properly. Now, on the motorway, cars still feel very stable. Obviously on the motorway, it's hard to tell exactly the performance of a tire in the wet, but 
there's no problems with stability. It doesn't feel like the car has all of a sudden lifted itself above the road surface a bit and is floating around. Still feels very nice and stable. Uh, yeah, well, overall motorway driving in the rain, absolutely fine. And look at this, I mean, this is quite the rain we've got now. And honestly, I can't really feel much difference between the dry and the wet, so pretty impressive. Now we need to get off the motorway, somewhere around there, may not be raining anymore, and see how the tires do. Right, sport mode activated, wet surface, not too much rain, so it's perfectly safe. And we're off the motorway, so a little, hopefully a few little roads. Let's test out these tires in damp conditions. You know what, let's even go in track mode because that kind of switches the traction control off. So then we'll be able to f get more communication through the tires. I'm gonna try and be quite harsh on this steering wheel, you see like this, to try and Get the wheels, obviously we're not on track so we can't go particularly fast. A little roundabout, let's see if I accelerate around here. Oh, hello. <laughs> let's see. Oh my God. Okay, so slipping, slipping a little bit, but quite a communicative <laughs> loss of traction. It doesn't snap all of a sudden. It's quite gradual. Let's see acceleration. Right, that was a launch control on wet surface and there was no wheel spin. Now, you know, I haven't been told to say anything or anything of the sort. I was given the tires and sent on this trip so that I could really test the tires and come back with any constructive criticism. And honestly, being able to do a launch control on a wet surface and no wheel spin is very, very impressive. So the tire obviously has its limit. It's a road tire. But I mean, you really need to be going for it to find the limit of the tire. Now, I'm waiting until we have no one behind us so we can do a little brake test. Zero. <laughs> She's not happy. Ah, a little chicane. Wow, this is very cool. Our hotel. How do I switch these? Okay, there we go. Honestly, I'm very impressed because having a, this tire, I mean, 98%, uh, of course, it, as I say, it's not a track tire, so I'll let go at some point, but 98% of the time, you really need to be pushing it to get past that limit, and that's what makes it impressive. You're not sacrificing any of the practicality of a tire on the motorway or in town um, that you know 95% of the people will use daily, yet you still got the capabilities to do pretty much any sporty driving you want in dry or in wet. So as a complete package for a road car, not a track car, but a sporty car that you're gonna drive, you know, in cities, but then also to have fun on a Sunday out of the cities, what a complete package. And I'm, I'm a massive fan, so yeah, well done, well done, Bridgestone. So I know you guys enjoy seeing the um, uh, hotels that we're staying in. So this is the second hotel, really nice. Look, old school, almost like chalet vibes, because uh, we're up here near, near Switzerland. Not huge amounts to show you here. Obviously we got a table because uh, dinner is in the room because of COVID restrictions, but yeah, I mean, everything is uh, super nice. We don't have, I'm not sure about the view. I don't think we're on the lake side, so I'm gonna go down and do some work later. And, oh, we can see the Alpine. We can see the Alpine and some nice mountains, very nice. Very nice, it was cool being able to test the, um, the tires in the snow. Now we've, in the snow? What am I saying? In the in the rain. Uh, we've got the shower, bathroom, and there we go. That's pretty much it. We're gonna go check out the view of the lake downstairs now. Wow. Oh. Good view. What a view. I've already worked in a worse, uh, worse spot. Look at this. I feel very lucky. Very, very lucky. It's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Lake Como now. Really nice. Look at this. Feel very fortunate, very, very lucky to just see things like this. Wow. Normally there's a pool here where I think we should be able to, we would be able to swim, but it's closed. So, you know, life is life. Tennis courts, any tennis fans out there?
All right, we've done little roads, we've done motorway. The last place we kind of needed to test out the tire and the car is in town. And what better place to test that than in the capital, I think the camera's a little bit crooked. There we go, the capital of France and the capital of traffic as well, Paris at rush hour. So that is where we are right now. And uh, well, it's quite something. Obviously, this is kind of the area that worried me the least uh, with with the tire. I mean, I knew it would, oof, that was close in front. You know, it can handle the motorway, which is I was quite worried about the road noise on the motorway. Quite, you know, you never know about wet um, performance, but obviously it did very well. But in town, what's really nice, which I'm feeling is how communicative it is. So, you know, here we're on these cobbled roads. The car isn't, Kind of shaking you like you're on a skateboard but it's communicating what's going on so it all com kind of communicates nicely the grip levels when you're accelerating so if the you know light goes green and you want to accelerate all of a sudden it will you know let you do that nicely but also when you're accelerating and braking non-stop in traffic the brake pedal is super communicative you know i drove this car basically in these conditions in london so much when i had mine and it was true that sometimes, you know, you'd end up braking and all of a sudden braking a little bit too hard and it just wasn't quite as communicative as I can feel now driving around here where acceleration and braking, you can really monitor uh, what you're doing nicely through, um, through the tire. So yeah, they've really nailed being able to do it on motorway, small roads and in town now. I'm really happy with, uh, with this road trip. It's been so much fun and Honestly, you know, I'm not just saying this, but I've been really impressed with the tire, you know, and, and you would be good, all the new technology that goes into these tires. There's so much research, so much kind of trial and error that goes into these. But um, yeah, if you've got a sporty car um, that you're gonna take out on the weekend for some sporty drives, but that you'll use every once in a while on, um, you know, in town as well, it's just such a complete package. And I honestly, you know, it didn't end up in a situation in, a, in an area um, or with weather conditions in which the tire was, was disappointing. And same for the car, I really enjoyed doing this with the car. And overall, I mean, it's been a pretty good road trip, hasn't it? You've been happy? No, it's been, uh, it's been special and I feel very lucky to, to, to live through these kinds of experiences. Okay, we've made it. We've arrived and we are close-ish to the hotel where we're going to be staying here in Paris. But it's been an awesome drive. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. You know, really thankful to Bridgestone for having, uh, you know, trusted me with the car, but also with the, uh, with the tire and allowing me to really be able to... Um, try it out in all the different conditions because that's where you really get to know a new product uh, such as that so yeah it's been awesome thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy it please comment down below if you enjoy these kind of travel videos um and we'll be back with plenty more soon subscribe if you aren't already cheers bye bye